you genuinely are seeking his attention you only want his attention mm. no one else's you are literally saying no to every guy that like tries Jesus you Christ. can i can, can the old lady um, say something i really want to ask what is something that you think women shouldn't be judged for today um in a marriage like we'll say specifically because you we were talking about like you know like her dancing and stuff what's something that women are getting judged for when they do it in a marriage and you think that that's not like they should be able to do that even though they're married Oh, I would say basically just having fun, like I said about Diedrich and his wife. Mm -hmm. uh, I, so what's that story? I didn't yeah, hear I about so what I happened. Didn't, I didn't read the entire story. I seen the video on Instagram. And so basically she was twerking. At his birthday. At his, his birthday, party. birthday party. And so they were back. But he was her. there too? Yeah, she was, she was dancing, dancing with her him. Husband. Like, you and, know, like this. Yeah. And so people are bashing, oh, well, you shouldn't be doing that. You're a man of God. And, you know, that's inappropriate. That is his wife. Okay. You're supposed dumb. to have fun with your wife. Is he just a popular pastor or something? Like he was a he... gospel artist. I didn't even know he was a pastor, but I knew that he was a gospel artist. Okay. Because he was one yeah, of the that artists does, I used to listen to that, back that, in the way. That definitely sounds goofy. So what's like another yeah. thing other than that? I want to like peel peel layer back until it's something that like I can actually like argue against. But yeah, that's stupid. I don't know what the fuck that is. Is there something else that like um that like you, you like you think that the wife should be able to do today? That's like being, you know, judged a lot? can't think of anything right off the top of my head yeah but... yeah yeah what do you got like going out to the club okay that's like, a really good one yeah okay well, well, well let's talk about it so mm -hmm. if you go out to a club do you think okay i'll give you a really good example actually you have a boyfriend no like, like well what? i was engaged so, so so like you had a serious relationship okay yeah. imagine the guy that you're engaged with he was going to go out to a place and at this place there was going to be countless numbers of women approaching him Countless numbers of women trying to buy him drinks. Countless numbers of women trying to sleep with him. Um, they're all going to pursue the entire time. Um, they're all going to try to really try to get him to drink to just get him even more into wanting to do it. Um, they're they're and then uh, you know the the and like how would you feel if you were in that situation? You know, um, would you be okay with your man going to something like that? Yeah, I feel like we're not in jail. Like you know, like you it doesn't know, make you uncomfortable been, at all. We've been adults, like so. I feel like. You should be able to conduct yourself as such. And if you don't want a man buying me drinks, then send me with $200 so I can buy my own drinks on you. Or come with me then. But if you want to stay at the crib yeah. and I want to go out, then give me $200. And well, I'm yeah, I definitely think drinks. you should be able to go out with your guy, like a thousand percent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, but you going out with your girls, you know, like without him, you're going out to a place that is that is made for single people. You're going out to a place that is designed for single people. It mm -hmm. is designed for people to go to go hook up at. You're designed to go drink there. Like all of the, the all of the the points of going to any of those type of environments, it's not for people in relationships. It's definitely people okay. in marriages. Okay. So and like and here's the thing: men and women aren't the same. Women easily get sex. Like, it's it's very easy. We all know this. We all know that a woman can get sex way easier than a guy. Okay. It, and don't get me wrong. I agree, ladies. There's there's some guys that get a shit ton of women. I know. Mm -hmm. I, I know. There's always I've those guys. I've been with them. Yeah, I know. So, like, <laughs> so, so there's always those guys. But because of that, it's just not the same. Like, and, and I'm not going to sit here and say that your, your husband should be allowed to go out. OK, I, I definitely don't preach that. I actually preach in relationships. You both have a curfew and like you both don't go do things. OK. And like if you do go do stuff, you go do stuff together. And so and if I do ever go out personally, I go out for business. Like I sometimes do go out and I do do certain things, but it's because I'm literally going for fucking work. I have to network for different things that I do in work and I have to go do it for those reasons only. It's literally never How for women. Hmm? How fortunate. It's very rarely too. Probably once a year, twice a year, maybe you know. I but like, it's not. With you on that though, because oh yeah, go ahead. I wouldn't say that the club and the bars are just solely for single people. That's why I was going to ask y'all. Has okay, we all went out, all six of us. Every time you left the club, did you go have sex? No. no. Even even the men, we it's all not... go home, right? And okay. go get a Whataburger, and we go to sleep. Whataburger. I got a good thing. point for you. I got a good point for you. So here's the thing. Here's the dill pickle. I agree. So for most guys. They can't, they don't have the leverage to say anything that I'm saying right now, but there are certain caliber of men that you're walking into their frame in the relationship. When you enter a relationship with certain men, you're following their rules, you're doing what they want, and it's because they're the prize, okay? So when you choose those <laughs> guys, oh no, I can't wait. I love it when people get triggered on the prize one, guys. Hey guys, we're about to hit him with the prize one in just a second. But no, but, 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 so, so, but because of that, like, 
we we have to remember that you're you're right. For most guys, you can totally go to the club. Like they're gonna let you do whatever you want. They have no leverage in the relationship with you. But there are a certain caliber of guys that will put you in the sex only category and never the relationship category because you're the type of girl that goes out on girls' nights, or because you're just the type that you want to do stuff like that, or you're not gonna respect him and not keep yourself away from other men and stuff like that. Uh, men really care about sexual uh, loyalty. We really fucking do because we didn't know if the baby was ours for fucking three hundred thousand years. <laughs> shit well, about 1.1 million years we want to go back to, to homo erectus you know like like if we really want to go back like like we we really give a fuck about that pussy we will always give a fuck about that pussy it is ours that's how we that's, that's just how we are um i got a question i'm sorry but yeah yeah go ahead bro <laughs> so for the ladies on here um have you ever been with a man that makes you feel like you want to say no to every other man mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, yeah, that's kind of exclusive. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm what with about a man you? Man with it like that right now. So. Yeah. I mean, yes. Yeah. <laughs> like genu yeah. Gen genuinely saying no, like hardcore yeah. no to every other man. Yeah. 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 I'm there right now. When he yeah. fulfilled yeah. everything. Yeah. And, 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 and would y'all agree that like y'all break rules for for alphas and make rules for betas? Like no. you will break a rule for certain type of men. No. Like 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 let him in. You're entering just his, a special. You're, you're, just entering, a special you're entering his frame, so you're entering his boundaries. Entering so are his you rules. are you with the man and you're respecting his boundaries and saying no to every other dude simultaneously? If yes. it's let mm -hmm. if it's known. You have to let us know. Yeah, I'm not doing be, pretend. No, no, no. This is, like this is genuine desire from your part to his. Okay, then. Yeah. You genuinely are seeking his attention. You only want his attention. Mm. No one else's. You are literally saying no to every guy That's that tries like Jesus you. Christ. Can I? Can I, Can the old lady say something real quick? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Here's the deal with girls, y'all. If you are treating us right, if you are giving me attention... If I come first, if I feel precious, You're and I'm ultimate protected, no, 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 I'm, no, I'm not. You I'm gotta let me I'm finish. I'm telling you, is there a guy in your life right now where you don't even have to think about that? Yes, Jesus you Christ. Le you legitimately don't even have to think about that. You don't have to think about <laughs> your ultimatums. <clears throat> you do not have to think about your ultimatums. You respect him so much that you look to him as an authority. And I'm telling you, the only way we're going to respect them so much and look to them as an authority is if they treat us like we deserve so to be saying, treated. I'm saying, yeah. if he, so if, when if someone steps if he's, up and does that, a hundred percent. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about a guy that's treating you like an asshole. I'm not, treat, I'm not I'm not talking about a guy that's controlling or a tyrant. I wasn't either. Yes. I'm talking about a man that that you genuinely just want his attention. Then the answer is yes. Yes. Nobody wants so to be if, that's the the it, it, exactly. if that's the case, if that's the case, if that's the case, if that's wear and tear. If that's, that's <laughs> a, if, if, boundaries yeah. all fucked up. If you do have a man like that in your life, then the club wouldn't be in your idea at all whatsoever. Club is for mm -hmm. fun. Club is to hang out. Club is to get get on that sexy dress to go dancing. You, you know, would like be that's doing why that girls with him. Yeah, he could with come. him. You would be doing that yeah. with him yeah, but... in your presence or not at all. What are you saying? If you really respect a guy, you don't even want to go to the club. You don't even even think about. It. And if you do want to go to the club, you want your man to go to the club with you. But do you that's what he's saying. A girl, your, your girlfriend has asked you to go out. Would you want to go? You don't care about time? your girlfriends. That's yeah, about what I want. Girls don't care yeah, about I their girlfriends okay. when they're in love. <laughs> no, no I'm talking about, about when he want hit when your girlfriend asks you to go out every single time. Do you want to go? Or do you tell he's her gonna, he doesn't even want to go he's out. He's going to be the one that's. She right. doesn't even want to go out. No, she goes out when I go her. out. She, she goes out when I want to. Well, no, I, I have a BM and I have a girlfriend. So okay. you're saying <laughs> no, she's I got coming to your circle, <laughs> or, but that's not love on your part. It's not only just about the man; it's about what the girl likes too. So if love is mutually mutual at the same time, so if I want to go out, just like you want to watch basketball. I'm gonna watch basketball, but if I want to go out and have a good well, time, then you should. Come well, with me well, too. Well, 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 here's the deal. I don't like basketball. I don't watch sports. I think guys that watch that shit are fucking stupid. So, like, I, I wouldn't even take a guy seriously if I was a girl and he was wasting his time on fucking sports shit because he's definitely not on his purpose, probably. That's right. And like, hey, but but the biggest thing is like, y'all, y'all, like, if my girl wants to go do something like that, she would never even been my girl. She would never became my girlfriend. Like okay. I said, there's a certain level of guy that are picking, and women will walk into their frame, and I would I would never even be with a girl that's the type of girl that goes to clubs that like likes to do that type of stuff that wants validation and attention from other people in any way shape or form i love that my girl doesn't have a giant instagram she got like 100 followers that are a bunch of her little close girlfriends and like she doesn't go out all the time she doesn't want to go on girls trips or anything like that because she respects me so much she wants to be in my frame 
And like, even if she wasn't with me, I guarantee you, she's the type of girl that is so valuable. Like she's very good at, at holding it down and being a very good woman to me and being very complimentary to my life. It doesn't matter if she's with me or somebody else. She'd probably be, still be doing like that same shit and being just as devoted to them. Love is devotion at the end of the day. That's all it is. Hey y'all, Sergio here. I just want to mention I've created a completely free guide that shows you exactly how I went from having low confidence and being painfully awkward around women to easily meeting and dating numerous high quality desirable women in real life without the use of any dating apps or social media. So if you're struggling to get out there, if you have approach anxiety or don't know what to say or how to interact with women to make them want you and are sick of using dating apps with low value girls that hundreds of other guys have been chatting with, click the link in the description below to grab your free guide right now. And if you want private mentorship with me personally to help guide you every step of the way in this process, check out my mentorship program in the description too. I would be happy to help you reach your dating goals and overcome any obstacle you may face. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. I hope to see you soon. Peace out.